News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukat Ali. And very good morning and welcome to Newsline, live from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Clambo. And uh, joining us on this wonderful morning is uh, a man who is uh, always in the news, especially recently in the light of elections or non-happening elections even. And uh, joining us here is... Uh, the Honourable Minister of Public Administration. Is it Public Administration? Faisal Mustafa. I think you got my portfolio. Local, local government provincial. Local government. You got my there portfolio you go. wrong. I was trying to check to see if you're listening to us. Okay. I always listen to you, Farah. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome to Newsline uh, on, this, uh, on this new set here. Um, but, uh, Mr. Mustafa, can you tell me what is the business of the Minister of Justice in talking about law and order? Surely we have a minister in charge of that. And this is the whole trouble, isn't it, when people try and cross borders. For us, the role of the Minister of Justice is to see that justice is administered properly and the necessary reforms are brought about. But also collectively as a minister, there is an excess between law and order and justice as well. Mm. So in certain areas, they touch upon each other. They overlap. You, you could say that, yeah. But isn't it, isn't, aren't some matters best left alone and not, not um, spoken about in public? Because uh, sometimes the tenor in which these um, thoughts are delivered uh, can convey uh, a wrong impression. Uh, are you referring to the speech by Honorable Vijayadasa uh, pa in Parliament with mm. regard to ISIS? Indeed. Uh, Faraz, if you take that speech in totality, mm. he echoed his sentiments against racism. He said that there should be a collective effort. But definitely with regard to ISIS and that certain Muslims have gone over there and are, and are fighting with ISIS groups, I think that was overplayed quite a bit because it's a very uh, it's an isolated incident hmm. and that uh, extre I mean. extre extremism is being preached in uh, Muslim schools and uh, Muslim international schools I mean I have been part of the other regime as well even, du even during the war and after that there has been no reports by intelligence that extremism is being preached in Madrasa or in schools in Sri Lanka hmm. so those sentiments express would further create uh, problems between communities. Indeed. Um, but while saying that for us, there was a lot of good in his speech also. So, I'm, I mean, I think... This it's is really diplomatic. Uh, it, no, it's not a diplomatic. It's, it was a, it, it's unfortunate that these sentiment, sentiments were raised mm. or, the, or the statement was made because there's a lot of hurt within the Muslim community. Of course there is. Um, is it all right then for... Uh, the Minister to talk about that, the Minister of Justice, uh, as you say, collective responsibility. Then, what is happening to uh, that other incident that we were uh, all treated to by uh, the social media, where uh, one chap, uh, uh, a citizen of our country, uh, no less, uh, but from a minority community, was um, threatened very openly in front of police officers by uh, another person from a uh, religious order. So I think uh, there is great expectation yeah. that law and order would be carried out against anybody, irrespective of who, who he is, who or, who or she is. Yeah. So uh, we are all hoping that any threats, any intimidation, any uh, statements with racial hatred will be, de will be dealt with swiftly. Um, Democracy doesn't mean that the majority need to uh, trample upon the minority. That, does, that isn't democracy, is it? Yeah, but I don't think it's happening. There are incidents, but collectively, I think Sri Lanka, all communities have religious freedom. But that is what my, my definition of racism mm. is for us. If somebody interferes with another person's religious practice mm. in any form. So if that happens, all what is expected is for, for, for law to take its course. And if, if there is one set of people who is preaching religious hatred, whatever community is or whoever it is, mm. unless the government takes swift, swift action, this will continue. I see. And um, you're, you're part of that government. Is there a commitment, a real commitment to do this? I 
I expect the government to do it, and in certain instances, even this government has been slow in carrying out law and order. Mm. So I hope that law and order would be carried out because if, irrespective of who or she is, if mm. law law and order is carried out, people will desist from getting involved in in uh, activities which causes re re religious hatred. Good. Now. Um you spoke of uh, collective responsibility and so on. Um, <coughs> what happened to the SLFP committee on the bond? I mean, His Excellency was very disturbed about the bond issue. Hmm. He's appointed a committee. Was or still is? He is. Hmm. And he appointed a committee and we handed over the viewpoint of the SLFP to His Excellency the President. And I believe that the President will act upon it until the President discloses it. There is a certain amount of confidentiality for us, so I can't express and protocol. Any protocol in any com I mean, comments. I can't comment on that report. But if I put this question to you, speaking on behalf of the people, yeah. the people who have elected not only the president and uh, uh, given an opportunity to your government to be where they are, if I'm speaking on their behalf, would you then reconsider and share some of that information? No, I will give a pledge at this program. Yeah, that the Sri Lankan party would take action with regard to the bond, bond issue and we will not lie low and justice will prevail. And that pledge for us, I'll give it on behalf of His Excellency the President and the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. Now, that's, uh, that's uh, good, strong words and a good commitment. However, you are not going to just do this to style it out, are you? We never, we never do. Sri Lankan party, Sri Lankan Freedom Party is a party of principles mm. and a party that acts for the well-being of the people of Sri Lanka. Right, um, and so we can actually see some real action, not not some uh, not something just because it needs to be done. Also, for us, deeds speak for itself, even mm. with regard to the appointment of the new governor. Mm. Sri Lankan party took a lot of took, took steps. Mm -hmm. and saw to it that uh, Mr. Indrajit Kumaraswamy was appointed. Mm. And I think the Sri Lankan Freedom Party has to be given credit for the proactive role in getting the new governor appointed. Right. Um, and uh, not to, not to uh, uh, put a finer point on, on the role of the media, because a lot of, a lot of uh, people uh, didn't quite um, figure uh, why we were exposing this event as much as we did. All the media were as one because obviously the conscience of the people had been aroused because the great sums of money that were involved and the breakdown of uh, rules and so on. I think uh, whereas other channel also, channels also played a role, I think MTB played a very proactive role in bringing this bond issue into light. Um, Thank you for, for acknowledging that. So you, you can't just share one or two small For us, I believe in collective responsibility and I believe, believe in protocol. Hmm. I'm sure you'll respect that. Yes, but we must ask. Yeah, we'll people see. can ask once yeah. the president issues a statement yeah. with regard to that. But that is the right way of doing things for us. Indeed. So as I, went to a as good, a I went to a good school for us. Indeed. And I was taught, I was, I was taught, did you go to, Mr. Stone? I went to Royal. Not that same school that the Prime Minister went to. I mean, here, all of us went to a good school. Goodness me. I mean, for us, it's, I, don't think it's, me. I don't think it's fair for you to make comments of that nature. Because, you know, I, I mean, we went, I'm part of the but government. But uh, Shap went to the other side, uh, to the better school. We, can t we tolerate you royalists. Anyway, you know, the thing is... You went school for us? We, the collective responsibility. I'll ask the questions, you provide the answers, all right? That's the deal. Now, listen. Collective responsibility, you went on about that. This is something you will uh, we'll remind you throughout the program. Collective responsibility. So we had a situation where the Prime Minister came to Parliament and uh, having uh, inquired as to who knew anything about the bonds, proceeded to tell uh, uh, a raptured house that uh, the, um, the decision to change systems from one you know, from one of private, private or direct placement to an auction system was his. Mr. Mustafa, nobody asked him to make that statement. He made that statement on his own in Parliament. Now, isn't it better for him to stand aside and say, listen, 
carry on, investigate this. I'll come back when, I, when I'm clear. Instead of him hanging on there. As for a minister, not as a PM. For us, I would like to comment on what the Prime Minister stated mm. because I'm part of the government and I'm also a minister in the cabinet. And mm. he's, the he's, the the head, he's the head of the uh, cabinet in parliament. Right. right? So, so you might get into trouble? No, I, I'm not worried about getting in trouble, but there are certain. We are a na, unity government. So if we start Is this one of the drawbacks? If, if, if we start commenting on what, what, what statements made by the President or the Prime Minister, no, for us. I am not judgmental. It is for the people to judge yeah. of statements made by the president and the prime minister. So, if the, if you feel that the prime minister had not made a proper statement, and if the people feel that way, people will take appropriate steps at the well, right we time. we have to wait four and a half years to Th do that, this. That is democratic politics for us. I mean, you you can't do anything now. You can't change this government now. Anyway, that's why we are elected for a period of four, five years. People give time for th the government to put things right. I'm very confident this government will put things right, even if there are certain issues, even if we have done things which are, are wrong or improper. In certain occasions, governments are given time to put things right for us. What a monumental cost to the people. I mean, uh, you know. I mean for us, it was a, it was, it was, it's a general statement that I was making hmm. about, gov about, about governance hmm. and about governments, right? So if you feel otherwise, if you, I mean, Things have to be put right. There is great public agitation about this bond issue. There is great public agitation in the Sri Lankan Freedom Party about the bond issue. And I'm sure there is great agitation within the government backbenchers and, and the government in totality. And right? is, is and that, reflect, that concern reflected in your report to uh, the leader of your party? That the report yeah. would be, the contents of this report would be disclosed shortly for us. I mean, I know you're a good lawyer as well, but uh, I don't, I, 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 I'm, I'm bound yes. by secrecy until His do Excellency. We have, do we have an official secrets act? No, we don't. I, we I don't. believe that we do with regard to certain issues, but right. uh, I have not gone into that issue in depth for us. H have you checked to see if the former governor of the Central Bank took his oath before he took place. I didn't, go, I, I, you I didn't go down to that. Day, I, don't, I don't go down to see for us who took his oath or not. not. Yes. Yes. It would have helped if he did. I mean, that's, I mean, you're always entitled your view and it's, I mean, of course it is. Um, but anyway, as the island, uh, God bless them, uh, has carried in its front uh, page in the headline story, SLFP vows to recover money lost due to bond scams. So that's, that's good that, um, that you are committed to that. Shall we ask you something that's on everybody's mind yes, and um, which uh, you are directly responsible for and that is this program wouldn't be uh, complete. complete without asking you this question and please don't give us the same answer, try and be more inventive. What's happening to the local elections? Nothing's happening for us. Why? We are, we are, Why is that? We are um, awaiting the appellate report which have appointed an independent committee and soon as that committee gives me that report for us and I believe in a principle of non-interference mm. and I believe in the principle that I should give them the time and space to do a proper report because the former report has been done for the uh, taking into consideration the agenda of one person mm. and not any political party and that it is against minority representation and it is done for the purpose of a certain person or a, or a certain group of people mm. which is against democracy Does and, and, an and, and being a democrat I believe that I am obliged to see that justice is done where that any local government elections would not deprive any community from having fair representation. I would love to be able to stand up and give you a standing ovation for that uh, response. But uh, the limitations. I don't need uh, standing ovation. But the ovation limitations are the set. I, I don't need to. Me. I mean, I've well always. Said, huh? but, but, you, but you're not working in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I don't, I don't intend to for us. Right. I'm quite happy where I am. Indeed. And so, can we have um, a response that is a little bit better than that? For us, if, if you're not happy with my response, for then us, we it not is for you and for the people to judge whether I have made statements in the interest of the masses, in the interest of the country, or I'm trying to get away by saying something. And I believe for us, I have a conscience, mm. and I believe that democracy, that I need to have the elections as soon as possible. Yeah. But while saying that, I can't, I can't, I have to do justice by all. 
not not selective justice. I and see. that I would I would be selective justice if I go on the former report where certain groups, certain communities have been greatly marginalized. You think you you I think your times are good this morning because this question will take you away from this uh, this topic. It's from a uh, from a viewer. Thank you for sending us these questions because it does help. Why is the SLFP leadership so scared of the UNP? If the bond matter was committed by an SLFP member, wouldn't uh, wouldn't that person be imprisoned by now? For us, people are entitled to their opinion. Sri yes. Lankan Freedom Party is not scared of the UNP. We are equal partners. We will put things right. And I don't. I'm, I'm, and everybody that is democracy. Everybody is entitled to his opinion. Mm. I don't know whether he or a she. she yes, but for mm. us, mm. for us. We are not scared, mm. and we would see that justice is that. And and I think every citizen of this country, everybody is in in government, is obliged to see that justice is done with regard to the bond issue. Give us the time and space; justice will prevail. So whoever this, the losses will will mount every day. We will see that justice is done for us. And His Excellency the President has a conscience. He came to power with regard to fight against corruption. Mm. I believe that. Collectively, irrespective yeah. of party politics, all in government would see that whoever is responsible for this will be booked. How serious is your prime minister when he proposes another hundred thousand a month for members of parliament? I think for us, looking at some of our members of parliament, we're so poor that they need the yeah, money. For us, do you think that parliamentarians have need a source of income? to sustain themselves and to do better for the people they need to travel they yes. need to live yeah. a, prop, a decent life mm -hmm. so that they could focus on doing I think the people also have an expectation I, I know a decent I know but life. for us if you look at their salary in totality yeah I feel that they need a decent salary so that they could carry out their work the, I mean everybody's entitled to their opinion hmm. I mean some members may not need the hundred. I really need. No, uh, for us, some members may not need the hundred thousand, but there are members who need it. And and how many of them are there? Then? How yeah, many of there them? Two hundred and twenty-five. For yes, us. yes, I and know I, that. I have not done stats. I have not gone into stats to see how many really need it or not. But I believe that the majority of parliamentarians. What they, about the members who've done transactions and made money? Why can't they be generous and then say, "Listen, mate, you know you're part of us. We'll give you a little allowance." For us, that's why uh, tax. Are you trying to encourage corruption into the system? For they, I'm only trying to be realistic. I think, I there is corruption. I think corruption has been continuously there for us. It's yeah. bad enough. Yeah. But do you, want, you admit do, you, do you want it to be for, for worsen? If if parliamentarians start take, uh, taking handouts from whoever. Who are engaged in deals that would further make them corrupt, Mr. Mustafa? You're 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 a legal man. Yes, I am. Of some uh, some uh, repute and some I hope standing. So. I hope so. Have you heard of Asperger's syndrome? No, I haven't. You haven't. Uh, perhaps you'd like to look it up. I would definitely. I would when I go back. Indeed, indeed. Do, do that. It, you can do that on your phone. You know, don't can do it now. No, no, don't do it now. But uh, it is worrying, though, isn't it? it what? Is, this whole business, where the people uh, vote you all in, yeah, uh, on the basis of what you all say and what you all promise, and then once you all are in and have taken that little oath that you all do, and you enter Parliament, that's it. You've forgotten the whole lot. For You've us, forgotten the for people. Us, everybody's entitled to their opinion. If you feel that way, I feel bad. But I don't think majority of the Sri Lankans feel. That once we've entered Parliament, we have forgotten the masses. I don't. I don't. I, don't, I, 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 must I don't think. You. I don't think for us. Yes. Your senti the, the sentiments which you echoed is shared by everybody. Will you take an hour of your time, and if you come to our library downstairs, we will sit you in front of some recordings made in during our Gamad program. Yes. And if you listen to what the ordinary people of this country say. You will be forced to retract your statement. No, for us, I appreciate what you all have done with regard to the government, the program. Mm. But the sentiments that you echoed that politicians in totality is not doing anything for this country, I don't agree with you. For us, you are entitled to the opinion. Yes. There may be shortcomings, 
You all have gone to places where no politician has been to. You all have done. No, that's wrong. No, we we've been to places where the politicians have been okay, once okay. to get the vote. Okay, for us, they've been once to get the vote. You all have gone there and done a lot of work, which I have witnessed. I've been part of the government program, yes. and I think the social responsibility which you are playing is great. But that doesn't establish the fact yeah. Yeah. that politicians in totality and, yeah. and all those in government yeah. are only interested in their perks and position and nothing else. I see. Well, we've got another question here. Uh, Justice Minister and the Cabinet is to decide on a separate court for mass frauds, etc. Will you, as a Cabinet Minister, suggest that the Bond case be the first case to be tried in this new court? Do you have the courage to do this? For us, yeah. I believe that the Bond case and other corruption issues should be tried in a separate court, but there's a process that will be first inquired into and law should take its course. And I believe that all mass scale frauds would have to be dealt with by a separate court because people are losing patience. Absolutely. And, and unless if justice is, uh, unless if you fail to administer justice swiftly, hmm. I mean this government, people will lose total confidence in this government. Are we going to have a special prosecutor for the uh for the bond matter? For us, there, there needs to be a mechanism, mm. there needs to be an inquiry. Those are issues with the Justice Ministry and the government in totality have to take. I think it's very premature to decide on what the mechanism is. So let's await the report and let's see what His Excellency the President and the Prime Minister is going to do, what's the next step they're going to do to, 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 to deal with this issue. And uh, another question from another viewer. Uh, please ask the Minister his comments on members of Parliament selling duty-free car permits. For us... Have you sold yours? No. Right. Have you, but you've claimed it. Yeah, I mean, I'm entitled to a vehicle. And I've then what, what, what have you done with that permit? I've ordered a vehicle for us. Right. And that's your money? You well, are for us, doing it? We are getting, uh, partly have taken a loan because we are all entitled to take a loan. Right. Right. So, obviously, everybody buys What's their vehicle. What's interest rate on that? Nine percent, I believe. Right. It would have probably been about three percent less had it not been for the bond. Anyway, so the thing is, you haven't sold them. No, I haven't. For us. Right. So, what is your stance on these men? men your, for us, your colleagues are selling. For us, I mean, if somebody has, it is legally transferable. Right. So, if it's legally transferable, that's, that, that's being challenged in the court. For us, now, isn't it? if it's been challenged, let it be challenged. Yeah. But if I'm given a certain, certain perks. Yeah. And if I'm entitled to buy a vehicle and sell it. Yeah. And I don't think anybody can stop it. Right. I mean, there is no violation of the law. Yeah. So I don't think anybody... I mean, the fact that a member of party, pa member of parliament is given a duty-free permit, it should, it should not be overplayed. It's not being overplayed. We're, what we're saying is, they... they um, A, the, some of these... Are, you say some of these people can't afford it, and that's why they need the 100000 a month. Okay. Some of these people who sell, they make a capital gain there. Yes, they do. When it's, uh, 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 the bigger the vehicle, the, uh, the higher that number. Would we, wouldn't it be in the in best interest of transparency if those members who are exercising their right, as you say, to sell the permit on, if they were ma to make public the fact that they have paid income tax on that capital gain? I don't think there is capital gains on that vehicle transaction. Of course there is. is. There. Then if there is, of for course us, there is. For you, you, you're, you're, getting, you're getting paid something so like I mean, 15, for, 20, 25 for million for the permit. My, I've not sold my permit, so I wouldn't do. But yes. if there is capital gains, they should, they should pay for it. They should, they should declare so that. So I'm that sure gain. it's up, up for the Indian Revenue to deal with it. I mean, for us, why are we, why are we taking up the position that they will not pay the capital gain. If they are legally obliged to pay, any citizen has an obligation to make any payment by way of taxes. He should do so. No, no parliamentarian could have, should have evaded from his legal obligation. Hmm. So there you are, the Commissioner of uh, Taxes might just uh, come uh, knocking on this... Uh, knocking uh, on, their door. on yeah. their door. It's wonderful news to... Uh, if he was able to, I didn't know for us. I mean, I, I should look check up the legal position with regard to that. Well, yeah. it's they're getting a premium for the permit, mm -hmm. so they're not investing any money, but they are getting a lump sum of money for selling the permit. So there is 
they've increased their wealth by that amount of money. So I believe that if, if they obviously if they enrich themselves and I mean it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a good thing. No, you want, your, your solution is good. I mean if they, if a, if a certain per percentage is paid by your taxes, it's a, it's a, it's a very good uh, a mechanism. Well, I hope I hope that. The, I mean, the, you should the be the con Commission of Indian Revenue for us. I'm no, sure no, no. I, I'd like to be uh, the special prosecutor for the bond issue for just one day, on the day that the that's, that sentence. issue is very close to your heart, no, for us. Do you know why? Why? Shall I tell you why? Mm -hmm. It is because when we voted for this, for for the re-establishment of good governance, very unfortunately, as it turns out now, we actually believed what Rani Wickremesinghe promised us. And that was to return to to return this country to a system of good governance and equitable playing field. We did not expect his party to be party to the possibly the greatest scandal ever to engulf this country. For us, that's why. Give this government time and space, and have hope. I'm sure. That Eighteen you, months. I'm I mean, have hope. Give time and space. I'm sure this government will put things right. Well, you know. Uh, Everybody says this, but it's taken so long. We had a very, um, we had a three-member committee whose, whose remit was not all there. Uh, even they wanted an investigation. Anyway, so at least we have your uh, assurances that uh, it will be done. And uh, we've got you on tape now. And so, well, how long should be it be before we get Chaturanga to call you and ask you to come back on the program? You decide when you should ask me for that. You know, be, be how long will this process now? Take? This process, uh, this report has gone to His Excellency the President. I'm sure he'll act swiftly. Hmm. So, I'm in a very short time. I'm, I don't, I don't believe in giving specific dates and times, but I believe like, like the election. No, no, for us, I have. Um, Heart, I, I, I can consciously heart? say yes. that I have not postponed this election any sinister purpose. It has been done only and only for the reason that I want to be fair by the public by having a proper delimitation process in place and whatever allegations, whatever whatever comments made against me, I take it in the spirit that I will do justice by the people. Whatever comments are made against you is um, uh, notwithstanding. There's one thing that must be said about Faisal Mustafa and that is the consistency of his statements when it comes to having these elections. That you, is, you, you know, why I'm consistent? Time? Why yes. I'm consistent for us? Because, because I speak with my conscience. Right. That's that's wonderful to hear that, and I do wish that there are others who will uh, practice the same art, if not the science, of telling the truth uh, as uh, practiced by you on this point. I don't know about anything else because I haven't looked into it. Um, am I likely to find you having made conflicting statements on anything? I don't think so for us. I right. mean, I've always dealt with speaking with my conscience and I will take any decision which is right for this country. And uh, viewers, if you want to keep track of the record of your parliamentarians or to check up on any member of parliament and what they've been doing on various issues, mantri.lk. Go in there and you'll find it rather useful tool to find out what it is to take. Um, and uh, on that note, uh, Mr. Mustafa, uh, you know, as usual, we do appreciate you coming on, on the program and so on. But can you tell us one thing? As a member of the minority community too, is there anything that we need to be worried about? I believe that this government should show its commitment that law is taking its course with regard to certain statements of racial hatred and if they don't do that for us there is nothing different between the previous regime and now and that is why you all are here to make a change and I would be part of it and I would fight for it within to see that justice prevails and that statements of racial hatred acts done to create issues with regard to communi communities hmm. and I would see, say that the reconciliation process cannot move forward if there are incidents which distance communities and if rhetoric is made of racial hate. Indeed. The longer you take to declare the elections, the greater the defeat will be. So the responsibility of defeat will be on your conscience. Another viewer. 
far as every citizen in this country can make a statement, can express his views. My task is not with regard to a defeat of a party or not. My task to the general public is that I have free and fair elections and that all communities are represented and that they get representation and there is a fair mechanism in place so that all communities are represented at local bodies. So if he feels that way, that is his view. I have gone against my own gen party general secretary when he said that I should have elections immediately. I told him, you do your job, I'll do my job. My responsibility, even though I'm a member of the Sri Lankan Freedom Party and the UPFA at, with regard to this issue, is to do justice by the people and not take my party interest first. Thank you very much. Faisal Mustafa, thank you for having been on Newsline. We appreciate your presence. We'll give you a call in a couple of weeks' time to see how you get on. It's always a pleasure for us being with you. Thank you. Thank you for having watched Newsline. We'll see you same time, same place tomorrow morning. In the meantime, take care, have a great day, and God bless.